Welcome back to how to make a CPU, um, how to make an 8-bit CPU. We're on part 3 right now, and today we're going to be looking at simple logic gates. Okay, how do we make some simple logic gates? And the first one we're going to do is AND gate. And for anyone that's been in the field of electronics before, you'll know that um, AND gate is just two transistors put into series. So essentially you have the collector, the gate, and the emitter, right? So the collector of the first one goes to 5 volts, our power supply. The gate goes to our switch through a 10K resistor, and the emitter will go into the collector of the following transistor, meaning that these transistors are put into series. And then this output will go to Y. Now I'm going to build this for you a second in a second and we're going to fill up this truth table here. Now truth tables are important because it's just a way to write down what the value, what the output Y will be depending on what the inputs A and B will be. So I have this built here. So this is the AND gate that we saw earlier. This is what was on the page. So we have a switch here going from power through a 10k resistor into the gate the middle lack of a transistor and we have the same thing for the second switch and these transistors are put into series and then we have the emitter of the last one going into our LED oops that's a bad wire there okay going into our LED so let's say let's fill in the truth table so when they're both zero output is zero when A is one output is 0. When B is 1, output is a little bit 1, but I'll tell you how to fix that later. But A and B are 1, output is 1. Okay, so as I said earlier, you know how when you press B, the LED turns on just a little bit. It doesn't turn on as brightly as when you press both of them, but it still turns on a little bit. And the reason for this is you don't have a pulled down resistor. And pull down resistors are very, very important because, in fact, this little bit of voltage that you get is enough to trigger another logic gate, which will totally mess up whatever um, series of logic gates that you're putting together. It will completely mess up the computer. So the way we fix it is by putting a something called a pull down resistor. And that means that from the output, we also put it going to ground. So usually you put a 4.7 or 6.7k resistor, um, a pull down resistor. But here I'm just using 10k, won't really matter. Not a big deal. So now when you press B, see, it doesn't really turn on that much. See, it's important that it doesn't turn on very much because now this little bit, it's always going to turn on a little bit. But this little bit now is not enough to trigger another transistor, which is good. That's all we needed to do. We just don't want it to trigger another one because if it does trigger another one, it'll completely mess up whatever we were doing. So, A is 0, B is 0, A and B is 1. So only when A and B are 1 is the output 1. So we can fill in our truth table now. Okay, so this is what our filled in truth table looks like. So the output is true for an AND gate. For an AND gate, the output is true when only both inputs are true. So if A and B are true that's where the name comes from a and b are true output is true otherwise output is false okay so let's take a look at our or gate or gate the transistors are put in parallel so the same thing as we had over here except the transistors are now put in parallel so technically if a is one this transistor will be true so this output will be true so Y will turn on. So 0, 0, obviously there's going to be no voltage at all. So that's going to be 0. But 1, 0, this is 1. So this transistor is 1. So emitter is 1. So Y is 1. B, same thing. This is 1. This is 1. So this will be 1. Now when both of them are true, this is true, this right here is true, and this is true. Technically, 
Y will be just a shade brighter than it usually is, but it is still true. So for OR gate, it is true if A or B is true. So Y is true if A or B is true. It is only, Y is only false when A and B are zero. Okay, so this is our OR gate. So when both outputs are false, output is false. When B is true, output is true. When A is true, output is true. When A and B are true, output is true. And don't forget you need pull down resistors on both of them. So this would technically look like this and uh, 6.7K or 10K. 10K will work just fine. 6.7K gives a it's a little bit dimmer, but doesn't really matter because you just want to make sure that it is not triggering any more logic gates. Now this is the last one we're going to learn today. This is called the not gate. So let's do a truth table for this one. Now there's only one input, so that means there's only one option. A is either 1 or it's 0. So let's take a look. This one is a little bit trickier to understand. So under first glance, one would think Y will always be true. Who cares what A is, right? Who cares whether A is 1 or A is 0? Now, the reason for this it is actually false. When A is 1, Y is 0. And when A is 0, Y is 1. The reason for this is because this transistor has a natural resistance and it's a pretty high resistance. So this 1K resistor is less resistance. The 1K resistor going to the LED is less resistance than the 1K resistor trying to force its way through the transistor to ground because it's always trying to get to ground and our output will eventually go to ground yes so when this is closed when the transistor is closed it's in the zero position then the voltage will simply flow through the resistor to the LED the output and to ground because electricity always takes the path of least resistance but when you open this because an LED has a natural amount of resistance and usually most LEDs will have a resistor built into them and when you open this switch when A is in the one state now the resistance becomes so much lower in the transistor because it's in the one state the switch is now closed that voltage will go through the 1k resistor and then through the transistor and then out to ground rather than going through the LED. So the LED will now be off. And we'll demonstrate this through, I've built the circuit here, like this, okay? Now, we have our 1K resistor here, right? That's brown, black, red. That's our 1K resistor. I don't know if that's showing up in the camera. But the 1K resistor is connected to this red line here, which, are, which is our VCC. And that's connected to the collector of the transistor. And that's connected in parallel to the LED, which is going to ground, which is why the LED is on now. So this follows our truth table. When the button A is not pressed, LED is on, Y is 1. So when A is false, Y is 1. When A is true, Y is false. See that? And that is because voltage is flowing from 1K resistor through the LED to the emitter of the LED, which is connected to ground, because electricity is taking the path of least resistance. Now, with these three logic gates that I've just showed you, you can build everything in the computer. You can take these three logic gates 
and copy them and combine them infinitely amount of times to create the CPU because the CPU is simply made out of these three logic gates. And in the next video, we're going to learn how we combine these logic gates to create even more complex ones that are used in the computer. So subscribe and like this video so you guys can see the next one, part four.